I'm Michael Vassos, I'm here for Long and McQuaid, and we're checking out the Ernie Ball VP Junior volume pedal. It's got a 250k pot for passive pickups and guitars. So a volume pedal, one of the things that people use it obviously is to do volume swells, which is a very emulating pedal steel type licks. But another thing that you can do, and people forget this, is you can control your overall volume too. So basically, if this is your full volume for your gig, and then you want to play some rhythm, you just pull it back slightly. So you can control your overall volume with it. And uh, another thing that guys forget about this pedal is that in the old days when you had your full-blown turned up to crazy marshals uh, and with one channel and that was your full gain sound you got your dirty tone uh, now you have your clean tone just with a volume pedal i didn't touch the guitar at all that's just the pedal so if you've got a one-trick pony amp that's all gained up a volume pedal can become your clean channel just by Pulling it down slightly, because your hands are busy. You can't keep winding your hand up and down. And then wind it back up. And you got your full on rock tone, okay? Two other really cool features about the volume pedal, and one in particular with this is it has a tuner out. So rather than running your tuner in line and having all that extra cable running through another pedal, you can actually have the tuner set up here so that when you've got the pedal off, the signal is still running in the tuner and you can silently tune your guitar. Um, and the other thing, one thing I like to do is, as I was saying about controlling your overall volume, a lot of times if you have an amp that's, again, fully loud, but you need that for your solo boost, so to speak, if you don't want to have the amp go clean dirty, as we were showing before, where it's really clean and then full dirt, you can also run it through your effects loop of your amp and actually control the entire volume of your, your sound without changing the tone. So if it's a dirty sound, it's a dirty sound, both loud and quiet. So you can also do fade outs at the end of songs if you want to fake a fade out like you would on a record. One other great feature of this pedal is it's almost virtually indestructible. It's made of an aircraft grade aluminum and it's a little heavy, but it's never gonna break down on you. There's also a switch just behind the input jack box here that controls the taper of the volume pedal so that depending on how quickly or how late you want the swell to come up to full volume. So it offers you a lot of different controls as far as setting how you want the um, actual pedal to work. Once again, I'm Michael Vassos here for Long and McQuaid and we've been checking out the Ernie Ball VP Junior volume pedal. Thank you.